was putting it very boy. He was putting posts. Um, like dirty posts. Yeah, he was. He, yeah, he was doing some stupid shit. That guy's dumb. That guy. That guy. Money out of that. All right, Fatima. How you feel, bro? Feel good. <laughs> <laughs> That's a thug life. Yeah, yeah, that shit. How good. you feel, bro? I'm good, man. Life's good. How tell you doing, me, man? Tell me about yesterday, bro. Well, what, what happened yesterday? Why are well, you so tired? Ah, oh, man. Yesterday I had dinner with the homies. You know, just it's an everyday thing. Mm -hmm. You know, what we do normally, you know, it's McDonald's, extra cheese, um, <laughs> yeah. large, extra life fries because it was paid. How much, how much did you pay for um, it's McDonald's? For McDonald's. Seven ninety nine. No, no. How much did you really? Because the whole, the whole, I was talking about like a bank transaction. How much? The did whole, you the whole bill was thirty bucks. But George and I went half seat, so I paid fifteen. And he paid fifteen. Uh huh. So you know it was good. I, I had a nice tea right. and my flurry. Mm -hmm. I had. Um, All right, now let's talk about the real two dinner. apple pies. Let's talk about the real dinner. I did just. Let's talk about real dinner at prohibition. Where's what the, was the real dinner at prohibition? I, Tell me about the real dinner prohibition. I had chicken huh? with sprouts. Uh huh. What's up? What's up? Huh? Two fingers. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Actually, Tino. Actually. <laughs> okay. Uh, -huh. uh, uh sprouts. Uh, I didn't know I like sprouts until I went there. What's sprouts? You know those little leather looking things? The what? Lettuce looking things? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sprouts. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
like budgeting, like creating a spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. So, you know, at first, I didn't know where I was going with it, honestly. I had no clue. I just I was like, you know, let me break it down to see just how much um, I have for the Epcot trip, right? The Epcot, Epcot trip we did like two mm -hmm. weeks ago, two weekends ago. I was like, let me see how much I have, whatever. So, I just started breaking it down, and I'm like, you know what? Let me see how much I really do spend. So, I went back to my statements, and I got the dates of everything that you know that mm -hmm. i have to pay and whatever right and like everything that's like automatic you know like spotify and like all these uh -huh. subscriptions and all these little miscellaneous things right that add up eventually and I, know, I put everything up right so i start off for the month right and i'm looking at the expenses for the month it was like seven seven hundred and fifty two dollars something like that right for the whole month counting everything mm -hmm. essentially everything right then, um, and I kind of just started like doing some research on like, you know, budgeting and all of this yeah, yeah. other stuff, you know, and that, I was telling you earlier, like the whole, it's called 50, 30, 20, mm -hmm. right? Like that, that, that's what they're breaking it down as. So 50% of your income should be for housing and expenses, right? So like in there, it should include like your rent mm -hmm. and all of that stuff, right? About 50%. Um, 30%, you should put aside for entertainment. Mm -hmm. So entertainment includes anything, you know, it has to do with going out to eat, you know, getting a, a drink, uh, going to the movies, you know, all of that stuff, right? Entertainment. 30% of your take-home pay, right? And then you should always take 20%, right? And, and saving, mm -hmm. right? Whatever, like, you know, just put some money away. So I started doing that. So I broke down the whole thing or whatever. I didn't know I was going with it. I broke it down. And I started fixing it next so you know, mm -hmm. like I like I'm actually getting a little bit better next so I start fixing it, putting it together so that I could understand it. And then I'm like, okay. Now let me break this down by month. I'm, no, not by month, sorry. By like paycheck, mm -hmm. like by weekly. So I broke it down for September, I broke it down for November, blah blah. Now I don't know how much I'm going to get paid. I just put like a rough estimate, right? Or so about around around how much or so I get paid. So I was like, okay. So I started like breaking it down. I started just seeing I'm like damn okay so once i did that i could see where my money was actually going you get me like you know um we and this happens to me all the fucking time dude i once i pay everything i'm good whatever money i have left you just spend kind it's of. yeah because so there's the thing in in my expenses it's included my um my my investments or whatever right like the little investments i have right now so um, my take home pay is after fifteen percent mm -hmm. into the whole thing, okay? Um, and then you know, like little little amounts here, like fifty here, twenty here, mm -hmm. you know, certain certain um other EFTs and stuff like that. So after that, just look at that, like damn, like this is like this is my money, right? So you know, that's when I just usually buy clothes, we go out, whatever, whatever, right? Do do what we do all the time, and it's obviously it's like fun, no regrets, nothing. But then I started thinking, like damn, okay, hold up. So I could break this down and then make this lay a little bit flatter mm -hmm. and start to kind of manage this money a little bit better, then where can where can I potentially be in five years, mm -hmm. where can I potentially be 10 years? If, you know, I actually start calculating this and I actually start putting money down because then I started thinking, like, yo, if I do this and I do this smart, I can still have fun with my friends, do the same, exact same thing, just tone it down mm -hmm. a bit. I mean, you don't have to be too wild. And that way, like, you know, I have what, you know, my responsibilities yeah. as a responsible adult to have these investments, have these savings, but also have money aside for, like, you know, the time it comes to, to put that 20% mm -hmm. down for a house or something like that. You know, because I started looking like, you know, a lot of people, they end up, they don't even put 20%. You know, the recommended a down payment on the house is always 20%, mm -hmm. right? And the reason for that is so you avoid paying, I think it's called um, homeowner's insurance, right? Which is like the insurance that you basically pay to insure your loan. So the the so the money could be like is a percentage of the total yeah, thing. Yeah. So it could be anywhere between like seventy five to one hundred fifty bucks a month that you pay for this insurance that does nothing for you. Mm -hmm. It's just insuring the loan just yeah. in case you can't pay no more. You get me? So man, most people don't do that because most people don't have twenty percent. As a matter of fact, eighty percent. I think it's like seventy to eighty percent of like. Americans don't even have at least a thousand dollars in their bank savings. account in their savings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like just just save. You know what I mean? Like less than a thousand dollars. That just basically tells you like yo, everybody's living paycheck to paycheck. And and I don't know, I just started, I just once I started looking at those numbers and started breaking it down for myself, I was like, yo, like if I do this and I could continue to do this and whatever time I have left, you know, in this, you know, situation that you know, I live with my parents mm -hmm. and you know, 
this situation that I have and however I keep going, however I keep growing, you know, I can still do what I do, but still have a more, um, I don't want to say secure future, but have more of a, like, an, a direction yeah. towards the future, towards the building. Because, you know, like, honestly, like, like again, I, I don't see myself getting married, so I don't, you know, like, for example, like, in your case, right? like, you know, you want to get married, so, you know, like, you and your wife, and you guys come together, it's going to be combined mm-hmm. income, yeah. it's going to be a, a whole different story, you get me? So, but for me, I don't see it as, oh, I'm not going to get married. So, for me, I don't think about combined yeah. income. I think about but only so, myself. Yeah, exactly, so. only myself. So, even in that breakdown, I started even calculating, like, okay, let's say I make exactly how much I make right now forever, right? Um, what's, like, the house budget that would be correct for me to buy? And I even did that breakdown. And just everything was based off rule of thumbs, you know what I mean? And the reason why in the finance world I like rule of thumbs is because it's um it's a very simple way you know, with these percentages, mm-hmm. you just go into, like, your 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 income, like, your, oh, this is what I get, take home, and just kind of just take it away, you get me, and break it down, and just, so you can see the whole spread, you get me, because I'm telling you, man, like, once once you really do all that budgeting out, you kind of see, like, okay, after so after expenses, after s- savings, after entertainment, I have this much left, and what do I do with that much, you get me, and, you know, you choose to do whatever you want, mm-hmm. you can save some more, you can add it more to expenses, I mean, to entertainment, whatever you want to do. I mean, you play with that money however you want. But, you know, point here is that, you know, um, dude, being young, being young and, I don't want to say from the hood, but just being young and, you know, having parents that aren't rich or something like that, you know, don't have a lot of money, mm-hmm. um, you don't quite learn a lot of these things until either you're older and you've made all the mm-hmm. mistakes that you've had to make to learning. Or you just continue to live page to page mm-hmm. for the rest of your life, right? And I'm just, I don't know, man. For me, I just seen it as like, yeah, that's not something I want to do ever, you know. And uh, I just think it's important for us as young people to kind of just start mm-hmm. really budgeting. Like really seeing like, oh, where does the money go? Where does this go? And plan now, you know, a cycle. Because I think um what a lot of us do is that we kind of just go off the rhythm of, ah, you know what, like I'm... Later on, I'm I'm gonna make more money, and then I you know mm-hmm. then I buy the house. Then I'm, yeah, I mean everybody's kind of like on this, on this point of I'm gonna make more mm-hmm. money eventually, and then I'll make the move, yeah. which is awesome. Like you know, there's nothing wrong with that at all either. Like that that should be a goal to always you know increase your income. Of course, you know like any way you can increase your income, mm-hmm. you should always do it. You get me? So that's all. That's obviously awesome. But if you if you know if you can give if you can open your eyes to where your money is going, then you can really start casting off things because. You know, like talking about just building wealth and and just long term mm-hmm. wealth, because like, we talk about, excuse me, we talk about you know legacy, leaving a legacy and stuff like that. You know, for you to leave a legacy, you need to have money. Mm-hmm. You get me? That's for sure. You get me? And it's not about um, I think you know a lot a lot of times people hear oh you gotta have money, they think about obnoxious things. You get me? Oh so what? So you gotta have the car, mm-hmm. you can have the jewelry. You know, it's, it's not about that. You get me? It's just money. You can do things. You yeah. get me? It makes things happen. You get me? You can help people. Yeah, you can make a difference. Exactly. So, you know, um, with that, you know, to create that long-term wealth, you need to have a plan. You yeah. know what I mean? And it starts with getting rid of all debt. So anything. And look, the and you know, you can talk about the Bible, right? The Bible says, right? The borrower is slave to the yeah. lender. Always, right? So there's nothing good about debt ever, right? So the faster you get rid of any debt, the better. Mm-hmm. You get me? So because, mind you, like, your fastest and best, I guess, way of, of building wealth is always going to be through your income. Yeah. You know what I mean? And if your income is tied into, oh, I owe, I owe, I owe, you can never use the I owe, I owe, I owe to build yeah, you know, yeah. your wealth faster. So, I don't know, man. Just, um, so, that, that, that I think that, that's where I'm at right now. Um, just trying to adjust to it now. You get me? Mm-hmm. And try to be like, okay, you know what? It's better to be more responsible because you know there, there is two sides of this there is uh let's be responsible but let's not be greedy yeah you know what i mean like i i don't i don't want to stop going out with my friends i don't want to stop going being able to go to dinners and going to you know have lunches and go out whatever you know i want to be able to do all those things it's just in a more controlled state yeah, yeah. because you know what you sacrifice today is going to be what you get to enjoy mm-hmm. later on i heard this quote it says live it says, live like no one else, so later you can live and give like no one else. Mm-hmm. Meaning, right now, eat tuna, can tuna, and little pan molde, yeah. and, you know, and drive your beater car, whatever, you know, like, live, 
Live on the low. You get me, mm-hmm. sir? You can build your wealth and then later on you can live, you know, like nobody yeah. in the other in the other term of, you know, you can have your penthouse and your mansion, whatever, mm-hmm. and you can but more importantly you can give. You get me? You give other people opportunities. Sure. You get me? You can give that waiter a better tip, you know, all that stuff. You get me? If you sacrifice a little bit mm-hmm. in youth, especially in youth, you know, so like that's the thing, man. You know, we, we were talking about it in our twenties, man, it's just like so hard. I think it's so frustrating for a lot of us because we're just trying to figure shit out. You mm. get me? And we're constantly like, like, yo, am I doing enough? Like, I'm constantly like that. Honest. Like, yo, am I doing enough? Should I be doing this? Should I be doing that? Like, it's like, you know, it's one of those mm-hmm. things that like, you don't know. It's like, yo, should I follow my gut? Should I not? Should I follow the safe route? Should, you know, so we're in this constant, constant loop in our heads. Like, yo, are we, are we doing mm-hmm. enough? Are we, you get me? Like, to, to yeah, get through. Yeah. So I think that that's like my current mind obsession right now. It's, it's to kind of like, you know, Get the finances in order and everything else, just let God take care of it. Yeah, yeah. Let it fall in mm-hmm. place. place when he has to. Yeah. What do you think? I think, that's, I think there's nothing else to say, bro. I think you pretty much killed that. Type thing, yeah. Uh, yeah I, I think it's awesome. The fact that you're seeing, you know, because not only just the benefit of for you, but it's the benefit of what you can leave for somebody else, right? Uh, because a lot of what you just gave right now is a bunch of knowledge. So if people want to take down, they can literally appreciate and you don't need to do Excel, man. Some people need, maybe yeah. for you, something basic, like, uh-huh. you know, I'm, writing I'm, it down, weighing what can be cut off, what can has to stay, yeah. what can, you can modify. Or, and it's not about giving away everything you like, but just about, like you said yourself, it's about being more controlled, more conservative. Mm-hmm. Um, and a lot of times it's like, when we don't, we don't have like the financial education, the money literally kind of burns in our pocket. Yeah. Like, we have to spend it. Mm-hmm. And so we don't, we don't like, even, like, for example, when you go shopping, and you're like, oh, you know, I got it on sale, so I saved money. You didn't save money. Just you just spent less. Exactly. But, you know, but like, we have these word choices mm-hmm. that, that reflect our, our ignorance, for lack of a better word, yeah. of, you know, financial stability and financial resources. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I think that is awesome that, because reality, man, we're going to need money. Like, I don't care if you're a believer or you're an atheist or you're whatever, you need mm-hmm. money. And, you know, this world moves with money. So I think it's awesome that we can take advantage of, of the time we have right now to, to work in that balance. Because I know also you, like, I don't even want to be that the guy who looks back and says, yo, I regret what I did. But I also don't want to look back and say, yo, I regret what I did either way. You yeah. know, I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah. No, like, in the, in the sense I of, like, I, I, I wasted too much. Or in the sense, like, I was I so did. greedy, I yeah. didn't even get to my... Exactly, like, I didn't go out with a friend in the There's this story yeah. Yeah, in the Bible that I, always catches my attention, right? Let's bring it to faith, but I think it applies here. Where some dude is saying, you know, I've worked my whole life and, and I've saved it all and I got everything I need. You know, now I'm just going to relax mm-hmm. and I'm just going to kick it now and enjoy it. And, and then um, he gets a message saying, you know, you fool, today you die. Who gets to enjoy what you got? And, and I think there has to be a balance, yeah. right? Like, uh, we, we live today but we think about tomorrow, yeah. right? Sure. So, like, part of us is, like, you know, be the enjoy the fullest here. Mm-hmm. But you don't have to spend it all here. Yeah. Think about, what if I still live another 20 years, mm-hmm. right? And, 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 I, and I mean, I, I got nothing else to add, bro. You pretty much killed this. You muttered it. And you guys should really watch this, take into consideration. I think, uh, you know, a lot of times we think, oh, I'm, eight, I'm 15, bro. I don't got a paycheck or whatever. But whatever little money you got, you know, yeah. and you, entre- entrepreneurship, and the a spirit of hustle goes a long way when you can combine that with practical knowledge. Mm-hmm. For sure. So. Yeah, man. And, and, you know, and I know for younger people, uh, it's hard because we fall into the trend of trying to, you know, like buy the freshest mm-hmm. shoes, the freshest clothes. And I understand, you know, like I was, I was 15. I was doing the same thing. When I was 15, you know, I was flipping shoes in high mm-hmm. school so I could, you know, look fresh or whatever. And then, you know, trade those to get another pair and sell them to get money, whatever, you know. But, um... I wish that, to be honest with you, like, if I was 15, I would have known, oh, I could put this money in a, in a mutual fund or something like that, get me then 10 years later to see what mm-hmm. happens. That would have been crazy, because, I mean, in, like, two more years, I could have put, like, the, I remember I came from one event, made, like, 600 bucks, came back, you know, if I would have put 600 bucks and just left it there 10 years later, who knows, yeah. I would have had, I don't know how many thousands by now, you get me? Especially if you invested in the right place. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know. For sure. So, you know, take this into consideration. Again, you know, we're not no financial advisors, we're not no, like, professionals at all. But um, but our experiences. Yeah, what we talk about exactly. We just talk about experiences, our life, how we're learning, how we're growing, 
um, you know, whatever practical advice we could give y'all, because this is initially, you know, always what we want to do to give y'all practical advice and just have conversation in general. So, you know, if you guys rock with it, thank you. You know, once again, like, subscribe if you're rocking with us. We appreciate you guys uh, for watching. Until next time.